People who watch my videos, watch them so that they can have stronger core, more joy in their heart and happiness in their life. They watch my videos so that they can have a better physical body, more health and strength in their life. And they watch my videos so that they can get more light and knowledge into their brain. This is part two of a video talking about finding our direction, finding our target, and making sure that we have enough potential to reach our targets. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to talk to you about the components of a simple arrow. We have a tip down here. We have this shaft, and we have this vein area with a knock on the end. An arrow like this is not much potential. And if the arrow were bent, it's, there's not much value. I can't get it to go where I want it to go. And if it didn't have clear direction in its tip, if it was pointing in any particular direction, it would go in no particular direction. But when it's true and straight, and when it has been aimed in the right direction, and when it has potential behind it, I brought my bow. Actually, I brought my child's bow. <laughs> I have one of my children's bow. When it has all of those things lined up and the potential behind it, the, it can hit its targets. It can reach its goals and it can be straight and have do amazingly wonderful things. We all are the same way. We all have the ability to stretch where, what we're doing right now. We have our ability to make sure that we're straight in our inner core, that we're aimed in the right direction, and that we have a great physical body ready to take us there. One of the things that a lot of people in the world believe, I, I, I should say that there's just a lot of people that believe that if they have the knowledge, that, they, that that's all they need. But in reality, knowledge is only part part of the formula. Action is the other part. It's the bigger part. In order for us to get good results, we must have good actions. It's just the formula. To get good results, you must have great actions. And to get great actions, we need to have great um, we need to have great direction. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. Um, we need to have excellent direction. And in order to have excellent direction, we need to have a strong inner core. So what's more important? The actions, the directions, or the core? And I'm going to suggest to you that they're all extremely important and they, they need to be in balance. They need to be in balance. In my mind, I can understand that when I'm talking about an arrow. People don't understand that when they're talking about their life. They only think that their actions are what's important. So a lot of people think that their actions are the only thing that's important. If I want good results, I'm going to have to work harder. It may not necessarily be that they just need to work harder. It may be that they need better accuracy and more direction. It may be that their inner core is weak. It may be that they have no potential behind their actions. So there's other factors in our daily life. And as an empowerment trainer, I help people to make sure 
that they are locked in to the source of power, the right source of power, because there are multiple sources of power. I help them make sure that they're picking the right goal and that their brains are thinking for themselves. And there's a whole section on addictions and control issues that are on the planet right now, control from outside sources, including um, spiritual sources that are negative that we can't see, and also making sure that we're straight, making sure that we're strong in our inner core, that our inner spirit is connected to our mind and our body. Our mind and our body and our spirit need to be one. One complete, strong unit. And our inner core, our values, are aligned with the source of power, our higher power. When all of this works, when all of this is lined up, our potential is massive. It, our potential is huge. We can really fly. Our accuracy, it, we can hone right in and reach our goals. And we are, we are strong enough to make it all of the way. We don't fall short. We don't, we don't drop down. We don't get sidetracked. We don't our, our core isn't bent, and we don't uh, boom, hit the dirt all the time. There was a time in my life, not too long ago, when I was doing my best every day, but I was really bent. I was, my, my inner core was really bent, and I was not hitting good goals. I didn't have any joy or happiness really in my life and and people around me were miserable because I was miserable and I was making them miserable. I was picking on my kids and I was angry. I was picking on my wife and I was angry. I was angry at my higher power. I, I had real issues. And I actually thought, you know what, if this continues, if, if me being so bent continues, I just as well end my life right now because I'm in a, a it's less embarrassing than totally missing the mark by the end of your life. It'd be better to just end it now and be done with this whole, whole goal at the end of the life process. I'm actually getting worse, not better, in my accuracy. So that's how bent I was. I felt like I wanted to just throw the towel in and quit the game. And then I went and I got some help. See, those who are like, I don't want to say, I, I do want to say it, but I have to say it in the right way so I don't offend people. I learned that <clears throat> to ask for help is not a weakness, but it's becoming more like a little child. A little child who is teachable. A little child who recognizes that we're all on this earth to receive help from other people. It's, it's like the, the whole game of life is rigged. From a little child, from a baby, we have to get help from our parents mother, our parents. From a toddler, we have to get help. From a, a young child, we have to get help. And then from a teenager, we don't think we need any help, but we need help. And as an adult, we don't think we need any help, but we need help. And the way it's been designed for us to get help is through leaders. All throughout time, spiritual leaders have been there to help us. We've had prophets to help us. There's been Adam and Noah and Moses and Abraham and we've had Jeremiah and, and Malachi and all of those prophets.
prophets through the ages have been there because that's how it's designed, that we're supposed to get help from each other here on this earth. And we find, we tap into the very best sources of help on this earth, and we get help from those sources. We're not, we're not supposed to try to do it all on our own. That's called prideful. I'm do it all on my own guy. I don't need help from anybody. Don't give me any help. And you know what? Our, our accuracy is going to be bad. Our arrows are going to be bent. And our targets are going to be broad and not specific and not very far away. It's just going to be like, oh, I can hit that. <laughs> yeah, I'm hitting my target. I didn't really set a very good target. It's just an average target, not really a great target. It's just kind of like, I can hit five feet. I do it every day. <laughs> okay, so that's where the proud, prideful person, they're okay with their life and their circumstances. They're just, I, I just want to be proud. I just want to be who I am. That's where I was. That's, that's where I was. I was bent, and, and, and eventually I just realized, you know what, that's not really my goal, my target. It's, I'm not, it's not working out, so I, I better end my life right now. That's what I thought was the right thing. But in reality, that was my brain that was overtaken by negative influences. Yeah, that's what was going on. My brain down here, my tip, my point, my direction, it was overtaken by negative influences and it was pointing straight down. Or more like at an angle because somewhere in there. And I had to get help from spiritual leaders. I had to get help from a personal life coach. I had to get help. And that personal life coach got me to focus on a better target. And that personal life coach got me to strengthen my core, strengthen my physical body, my connection, and then increase my potential so that I had not just direction, but I had the ability to make it to my goal. I had all of that. And then he said, all of this mess that you've had, he said, all of this wibble wobble in your life, all of this problems that you had, because you've been able to get it straightened out and get it pointed in the right direction, it's now your responsibility to share what you've learned with others. It's the cycle of life. Just like I had to get help from my parents when I was a baby, I'm supposed to help other people get their life straightened out so that they don't run into the same dead ends that I was running into, that they don't feel like, I felt like I was bent at birth. I felt like I was broken at birth. Snap! I felt like I had no ability to get my life straightened out. And in reality, that was lies. Those were lies that were in my head. And I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I had to be taught to recognize the lies in my head so that I could get my core straightened out, so that I could get my potential all hooked up so I could get my power behind me, so I can now share this message with you that I was broken and I am straight. I have accuracy. I'm not perfect. I'm still getting help. I'm still getting help from my mentors and I'm still getting myself straightened out, but I still have potential to help other people like yourself get their lives straight. And we're all here on this work, earth, working together, helping each other. The more help I share with you, the more I get straightened out as well. It helps me to see where my little problems are, where my inaccuracies are, where I'm not aiming for the right target. It helps me to help you. And I'm offering to help you when you sign up for one of my classes. I'm offering to help you think more clearly. I'm offering to help you straighten your core. I'm offering to help you strengthen your body. And I'm offering to put some potential 
into your life. Some great potential. Some higher targets. Some better results. That's what it's all about. I'm offering that to you. I'd like you to sign up for one of my classes. I have a lot of different classes. I have this great one called Epic Relationships in 90 Days or Less. It's to help you get yourself lined up so you can choose better targets. I got a great program. That relationship program is awesome. I have other programs that help people overcome addictions. When you're addicted, it's like you're getting pulled away from your goal every day. You set your goal somewhere and you're getting pulled. Ah, ah, ah. I want to be thinner. I want to be healthier. Ah, ah. That sugar addiction's really got you. Ah, ah. I can't kick it. I can't. Oh, those words can't. Ugh. That's one of those lies. It's a lie in your head. Somebody else has been able to do it before. If they can do it, I can train you to do it. Can't is like a swear word to me. All right, so there's that. And there's so many other things that are going on. But yeah, my addiction class is great. It's good for any kind of addictions. There's, a, there's addictions of the mind. There's addictions of the body. There's addictions of the chemical addictions that are taking over our life. And addictions are hard. They are tough to overcome. But you can do it with help. You can do it. And we have to get help. We have to reach out to our parents when we're a child and say, help me, I've fallen. And those who are humble, ask for help. And those who are prideful, they continue to go over and over again because they aren't asking for help. In my program, I have this accountability thing where you have to respond, you have to be accountable for your actions. And just knowing that you have to be accountable for your actions, knowing that there's no judgment at the end. Like, uh, I didn't make it, I didn't make my goal, I, was, I, I, I got off my goal. But at least you're accountable. And that accountability, it holds you to your goal tighter. And, and it gives you the, the, it's like a rope holding on to something that will give you some strength. Yeah, you're still free to move and still free to, to not choose to stay on the path, but you know you're accountable for your actions. And when you are accountable, it gives you that strength so that you can be more accurate. You can be on target sooner. Why wait? Why wait a year to get help? Why wait 10 years to get help? Why waste all that potential when you could be strengthening your core, refining your accuracy, making sure you've got potential behind your actions every day? Yeah, get help. Don't put it off. Don't procrastinate any longer. Get help. It's designed. The, the, life, the game of life is rigged. It's designed for us to ask for help. And when we don't ask for help, it's called pride. It's called pride. And we're instructed to be like a little child. A little child who's teachable. A little child who asks for help. And a little child who's open to receiving help from the right sources. Not the sources that take us down, but the sources that make us accurate and straight so that we can choose a higher target. My name is Keith Allred. I'm an empowerment trainer. I'm a personal life coach. And my goal is to help you become straight, true, and accurate. More peace in your heart. Strength in your body so that you are empowered to help the people around you that you love, your children, your spouse, people that you come in contact with at work. That's what it's all about. Join my class.